local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Welcome back, everybody. We have the heat, we have the humidity, we have the wind, and now we do have a severe weather potential. It's going to be for tomorrow. And when the Storm Prediction Center has outlined an area for severe thunderstorms across eastern Montana, northeastern Montana, and northwestern North Dakota with a marginal risk further into central North Dakota. More on that here in just a little bit. That severe weather threat does shift off towards the east by Monday. Let's take a live look off towards Williston right now. Reporting sunshine, but it looks like we do have some upper level cirrus clouds around 85 degrees is our temperatures. Winds out of the west at 14 miles per hour. Most of us seeing a southerly wind right now, and winds are particularly strong across our eastern counties. That's where we have sustained sustained winds at about 25 miles per hour and wind gusts over 30 miles per hour. In fact, a wind gust of almost 40 miles per hour in Linton recently looking at temperatures. They're hot. We got to 100 degrees in Bismarck. It's 98 degrees. It's also 98 degrees in Minot right now. Temperatures are in the 90s back off towards the east. 97 in Linton, slightly cooler back off towards the west. Places like Williston only at 85 as we saw earlier. Beach is only at 79. The dew points are creeping up now. Look at these dew points. 60s and low 70s. It feels humid out there. This is pretty muggy for North Dakota standards, and when you add in the humidity, you had a number of spots feeling like the triple digits out there. We have a wind advisory across our eastern counties that will expire here in a few hours, and then we have this heat advisory that's going to last all the way through tomorrow evening. Now there is in fact a little bit of light rain here showing up just along the border, and there's probably some light sprinkles right along the Montana North Dakota border at the moment, but you can see really just look at the satellite where the upper level ridge in the jet stream is. You can see the uh, storms kind of following that path. That's what's allowing all this heat to build in. It's also what's keeping us dry right now. No storms at the moment. Some data does suggest that storms are going to try and form this evening, but I tell you what, with that cap in place that we have right now, they're going to be really hard to make that happen. Slightly better chances do start to come in on Sunday. That's when we'll have this area of low pressure, so that cap will be, uh, it'll help to erode the cap a little bit, more forcing and more showers and thunderstorms across northwestern North Dakota by tomorrow afternoon. Some of these could be strong too, possibly severe with potentially some more thunderstorms coming in late tomorrow night and possibly overnight into early Monday morning as another area of low pressure starts to arrive from the south. By Monday morning, that's where we're going to be looking at winds out of the west, slightly cooler. You can see uh, winds will be out of the west behind this cold front. So slightly cooler temperatures, but another area of energy coming out of the southwest could give us more chances for thunderstorms late in the day on Monday into Monday night. The lows tonight, temperatures dropping back down to the 60s and 70s. That's it. And, and the heat advisor that we have right now, a good reason for it is the fact that temperatures are not going to cool off overnight tonight for many of us, especially across the east. Highs tomorrow back into the 80s to the west, so slightly cooler there across our east. Highs in the 90s, and yeah, a few places getting back up into the triple digits. Looking at tickets. And you'll be slightly cooler tomorrow. Highs in the upper 80s will cool off further in the Monday and Tuesday, but you can see several chances here for showers and thunderstorms late in the day. Williston temperatures in the 50s, 50s, mid 80s tomorrow, and then in the low 80s there on Monday, we'll have continued chances for showers and thunderstorms. Again, strong to severe thunderstorms will be possible, especially by tomorrow afternoon. Might not. A uh, slight chance for showers and thunderstorms by tomorrow afternoon. Maybe some some of better chances coming in on Monday. Temperatures will cool off. In fact, we'll only be in the mid 70s by Tuesday and Bismarck temperatures. It's going to be another hot one out there, but a good chance for some stronger thunderstorms, maybe late tomorrow night and then again Monday afternoon or Monday evening. Otherwise looking pretty decent through next week, but the warm temperatures sticking around. I'm loving the heat. You Thanks, like the heat, Dave. Man. Yeah, <laughs> coming up baseball and softball.